Today's recipe is sweet potato cinnamon bread. These loaves make great hostess gifts for the holiday. A quick bread that requires no raising or kneading. There's three and a half cups of flour, two and two thirds cups sugar, two teaspoons baking soda, one teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon baking powder, one and a half teaspoons ground cinnamon, one teaspoon ground ginger, one half teaspoon ground cloves, four large eggs, room temperature, two cups mashed sweet potatoes, two thirds cup canola oil, two thirds cup 2% milk, one and a half cups of raisins, and one cup of chopped walnuts. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And grease your loaf pans. Most of you probably already know how to do this, but I thought just in case there's someone who's never done this before, I'd show you what I how I do it. I take some paper towel, I dip it in the shortening, and then I rub it in, making sure that all the corners and crevices are well greased. In a large bowl, you're going to whisk the first eight ingredients. So that means put in your flour, your sugar, And I use the whisk and I start mixing as I add the ingredients just to make sure that they're well incorporated. Then add the baking soda. And the salt. When you're adding your chemically reactive ingredients, it's important to make sure that you add the correct amounts. And those ingredients would be things that are your leavening agents. Things like baking soda, baking powder, salt, and in other recipes it would also include vinegar, And your eggs, they're also leavening agents. But when it comes to your flavor ingredients, you can change those up a little bit to conform to your own taste. So then add your ground cinnamon, and 
and ground ginger. I used the half teaspoon measuring spoon on that one because it fit into the jar. So that's why I did it twice. And stir that up well so that everything is blended in and you're not seeing the streaks of any of the ingredients. Then in a separate bowl, you're going to add your four eggs that have been sitting to room temperature. And always crack your eggs open in a separate bowl so that you can make sure that no blood spots or eggshells get into your eggs. And if they do, you can take them out, as you'll see here. You take the edge of your eggshell and pull out the piece of shell that got inside. And then whisk those up. Then add your mashed sweet potatoes. I should have mashed these a little bit better before I added them in. It made stirring and whisking them later a little bit more challenging. It still worked out okay, but for ease, I would go ahead and mash them up a little bit better first. Pour in your oil and your milk. When you're going to use ingredients like baking powder, it's normally wise to not over stir it. So even though the milk wasn't entirely incorporated, I knew that I was going to be stirring it some more here. And you're just going to stir this until it's well moistened. And again, I didn't completely incorporate all the flour because I knew I was going to be folding in these ingredients. Once that's done, you pour the dough into your pans. This will make either two large loaves or four small ones. I'm going to put this into a preheated oven at 350 degrees and then follow directions depending on the size of your loaf. 